With the launch of season one, we just found the best zombies camo grinding method by far. It's so good that you can go from absolutely no camos all the way up to Nebula in just one game. And to prove it, I'll be taking in the brand new Krieg C assault rifle that I have absolutely no camo progress on, and we'll be getting it all the way up to Mystic Gold. So what you want to do when you go to start up a game, you want to go to the new mode directed. And once you're in here, you're going to want to play solo, or you can play with the squad if you really want to, and then head on over to Liberty Falls. Now, once you're in game here, you're going to notice there's a few more things on the screen and here in the top right it says our round cap is set to round three now it might be a little bit weird at first and this mode is really just made for more casual players to actually come in here and do the easter egg and be able to get it done without going to a crazy high round but with this new directed mode if you reach the round cap whatever it's set at it'll keep raising as far as you get into the easter egg assuming you can complete some of the steps but once you reach that round cap the round keeps resetting over and over and over again but you keep the same amount of points that you have the same amount of salvage it'll just respawn the same zombies in that round. And in this directed mode, you can still use the gobble gun machine. It'll still let you grab whatever you want from the machine. But unfortunately, side Easter eggs for the most part are turned off. So you can no longer come up to the vending machine and hit it and get a free item. And you know, that's a little bit of a bummer. But what you might notice here, if we look up on the roof, the Wonder Fizz has already spawned here on round three. Where in normal games, it don't even spawn until round 25. So if you struggle with doing the dead shot Easter egg in this game, or you just don't want to bother with doing it, you can just buy your way all the way up to the roof of this building here and just grab dead shot right away. And we just killed all the zombies left in this round. Not a single zombie is here on round three. But instead of the round going to the next one, like going to round four, as long as we don't buy these doors here and start progressing towards the church, it's just going to respawn all the same amount of zombies that just spawned here in round three. So this method is going to be really good for some weapons that are harder to get done after pack a punch like this right here, the GS 45, which after pack a punch becomes the Mustang and Sally's or getting a weapon like the LR 762 done, which is another wall buy on this map. But we just completed round three for the second time. We still have all the points and all the salvage that we already earned. And we're just going to go ahead and progress. The one side Easter egg that I have found that does work is this right here at the pool table, but it's only a hundred extra points. So it's not anything too crazy. But now that we've progressed this far, our round cap has raised to round seven. And what we want to get it to is round 11. And unfortunately, the side Easter egg with the floating head still appears here, but you can't blow it up. Or at least I haven't been able to. And you won't be able to get that nice Aether tool drop that it gives you. But once you make it into the church, go ahead and activate the generator. And now our round cap has increased to round 11, and that's exactly where you want to be at. Do not complete any more Easter egg steps after this. Okay, we made it to round six, and we now have enough for Pack-A-Punch 1. We're still making our way up to round 11, but you might be wondering, why not go to a, a higher round than that, especially if you're trying to get Mangler kills? Well, in this game, or at least in guided mode, you can only go up to round 15, and then it completely caps out, and you can complete round 15 as many times as you want. But there isn't a guaranteed Mangler spawn on round 15, but there is on round 11. And just so you know, I wasn't lying here. It's only round nine but we have the wonder fizz right here and i'm gonna go ahead and pick up dead shot and a little speed call okay we've made it up to round 11 and now that we're at this point you want to come over to the flower shop and grab this thing right here a nice little water valve and once you got your valve you're gonna to want to bring it here to liberty lanes and as you can see right there i just ended a vermin round but the round is not increasing and it's also not restarting the vermin round it's going to give us a normal round 11 which is the first time we can get manglers to spawn in so if you're going for your topal camo this is going to be the way to grind it out without having to get up to round 30 and above and try to fight your way to getting more manglers there what i was doing to get my topal camos prior to this was constantly saving and quitting once i got to a good enough round where multiple manglers were spawning in and then killing them saving quit coming back and then trying to take them out. But the higher and higher of a round that you get to, your weapon is going to start falling off in damage pretty quickly. But here, we're permanently at round 11. The zombies are always going to be at round 11 health, and we'll just be able to sit here and grind out kills to our heart's content. And here comes our first mangler. Now, we're going to have to complete the pseudo round here on round 11 to get another one to spawn in. So I recommend bringing in another weapon that you don't have your crits done on yet, or, you know, just bringing in something that you can easily clear through all these zombies with if you want to get to your manglers a bit faster. And I don't know this one for 100%, so take this with a grain of salt. But I'm pretty sure once you hit a certain round in zombies, you get an XP cap where you're not going to be getting as much XP per kill in this mode. But with directed mode, we're permanently going to be stuck here at round 11. 
So you're probably still going to be getting the same amount of XP you would on a normal round 11 and just be able to milk it here. And with the introduction of season one, if you played Modern Warfare 2 or 3, you can now access all your old double XP tokens. So as you can see right here, I have a ton left over from Modern Warfare 2 and 3, and I'm just using them sitting in here grinding out kills so th this should be perfect if you're trying to level up guns level up your battle pass or level up prestige and i haven't seen it happen yet in this game but the first time i tried it out i was still getting gobble gums for like round completion or at least what it thought was round completion so you can still grind out gobble gums as well you can even start using like dark void which just got a buff or dark flare whatever that field upgrade is if you haven't already worked on that for the mastery badge that works as well but if you feel like this really isn't your speed so far we're gonna go ahead and use that valve that we picked up earlier and go ahead and throw it on here and give it a few twists and doing this will spawn in a few more zombies and i'm pretty sure it'll guarantee that we get a mangler every single round here and in this directed mode the rampage inducer is not here so you can't use it to speed up the rounds but this valve kind of works the same way just as long as you keep it somewhat cranked there you should get a few extra zombies to spawn in here and you'll know you're doing it right when you see the zombies with the purple eyes spawn in kind of similarly to the maxis trials which unfortunately are not in the directed mode and if you want to be able to see your water pressure gauge all you got to do is come on over here to the motel and let the zombies out of it you know walk up to the jet gun look at it for a second and then now it should show you your progress after you go and see the groundskeeper apparently but every time you leave the area your water pressure is going to go down you're going to get a little nuke it could be a nice way to reset the rounds when i was trying it it didn't seem to work very well with me constantly trying to like cheese it by leaving the bowling alley to get that little nuke to pop off it worked a few times to get a mangler to spawn but i think you're probably just better sitting in there and just grinding out kills as they come but now we just got to take out this dude we can probably just leave the key on the ground right Unless it's going to give us another notification to pick it up. Yeah, it's going to it's gonna make us pick it up. All right, give me that. And we'll go over here and grab the handbrake from the shed. Hand it over. And now we should be getting more mangler spawns that those steps are complete. And we'll be able to actually track our water pressure gauge in here. But if you do plan on doing this, I highly recommend using a frenzied guard with a frenzied flare augment upgrade. Because it works similarly to Ring of Fire back in Cold War. Where you can just activate this and you'll shoot from your stock instead of your magazine. So as long as you got the ammo for it, you can just constantly fire your weapon and it makes grinding through these pseudo rounds a bit faster. So not only is the strategy good for just racking up a lot of critical kills, we're going to get a lot of mangler spawning in so you can get those special zombie kills. If you're going for those jackrabbit medals, those kills without getting hit here on round 11, the zombies aren't too fast. So you should be able to avoid them a lot easier. Oh, and there we go. We're getting a gobble gum. Three of them. Arsenal Accelerator, Stock Option. Oh, and a Soda Fountain. Not bad. So we can just sit here and grind out gobble gums, levels, whatever we want. And I did mention the side Easter eggs are turned off, but the vault isn't. So if you still want to get it open, you can. So our last number here is 26. So we'll put in 41, 28, and 26. So if you enjoy a little bit of gambling, maybe you want to try to get another weapon to grind camos on. You want to grab a score streak, maybe even a free perk. If you get lucky enough, you just bring your key in here. Go ahead and pick up whatever. We got monkey bombs from this one and a golden model L. So that's a nice way to get a weapon without having to go through and upgrade the rarity for it. And the vault's going to be in cooldown for a little bit. But once you finish the pseudo round, like you kill every zombie that's still spawning in, once that resets, you can come back over there and enter it again. Let's see if we can actually speed up the mangler spawns a bit. I'm going to give this a slight crank, the smallest crank possible. And then we will leave because I'm not seeing any mangler spawning right now. They usually spawn right away. Just go on the roof, chill up here for a second. And the nuke goes off, should kill off the zombies in the round. And did that do enough to end the round and spawn in another mangler? I had to shoot maybe like four or five zombies after the little nuke went off. Oh, uh, yep. Here comes one. We'll take them out right away. And right, now let's try it again. Crank it one time and then leave. I think the further you get away from it, the faster it'll go down. So maybe if we just run through the bank real quick, make our way to Jug a little bit past it. And there it goes. Will we get another one? Not looking like it. Maybe I'm doing something wrong and you guys can uh, get the method for just spawning manglers and fast down. And now our weapon is fully powered up. We got it tier three pack-a-punched and legendary and we're still 
on round 11. Now, I wonder if over here in the graveyard is faster for grinding out camos. Because we have the tier 3 armor right there if you need it. Some ammo right here. You can obviously go pack a punch back here. And there's a good spot you can stand right over here next to the staircase where all the zombies gotta come at you at the same level and in like a single file line, basically. So even though we can't use the valve here, it actually might be better to stay in the graveyard. Oh, we're halfway there on crits. This is going swimmingly. And it's looking like what I said earlier might not be true. Manglers are not guaranteed to spawn, but they are very likely to. I'm getting one like basically every other round here. And I've just been going around the whole map, trying out different spots. Here in the comic shop, ain't too bad standing up on the bar here, the counter. They all have to climb up to you. Now, they're not all going to be coming at you in a single file line like the graveyard, but the spawns might be a little bit faster here. Ain't too hard just to look left and right. Or maybe over here could be better. Let's see. Ooh, this might be the best spot so far. I'm just sitting right here. Not moving at all. I mean, I'm moving my cursor around a little bit. But all the zombies basically at the same level. And I can get them before they can get to me. But I do currently have this door closed here. So that's probably playing a, a good part in this. And three rounds in a row, I've gotten a mangler here. Maybe this is the spot that guarantees them. This could be a good spot too. It doesn't look like the zombies hop over the railing here on round 11. They usually don't do that till a later round. The spawns seem decently fast. There's actually a few pretty all right grinding spots on this map. Oh, we got our mastery badge for this. There's a level up. We got this to level 35. Started at level one. Oh, and there's our purple tiger camo. Let's go. We got 2,000 kills all in the same game. We have 3,000 eliminations, 2,085 crits. Still have not left this game, and it's still round 11. Oh, there's our crossbane camo. Or crowsbane, whatever. Oh, and there's our sunny splash. So now we just got golden mystic to go for. Oh, and there's Mystic Gold. Let's go. We got all the way up to Mystic Gold in just one game. Holy shit. I never thought I'd see the day. Now, if I had the rest of my ARs done, we'd be able to get all the way up to Topol, but unfortunately, I do not. So uh, let's go ahead and finish off this Easter egg. Actually, I wonder since our next step is to get the last part from the radio house using the Mangler Cannon. Are they going to spawn in more Manglers for us until we actually pick the cannon up? Because this could be huge. It does not look like we're getting any more manglers. All right, so there goes that theory. Let's slap together the jet gun. Give me that. Now our round cap is at 12. I'm pretty sure we will still get one mangler per round here, but I don't think it gets higher than just one. At least not at round 15 or lower. Now we can go ahead and put down the LTG. And if you have elite kills to get, this is a good time to do it. Because once we're done defending this, we should get an HVT to spawn in. And another mangler. Now, what's our HVT for this? Abomination. What's up, dude? Just gotta get you weak. And bring you on over to the trap. But just like we were doing before, you can constantly just kill him end the round you know fail the step and you can sit there and loop at round 14 if you really wanted to but i currently don't have any challenges for this so i'm just gonna end it um or maybe not but at least we got gobble gums out of it perkaholic please nope well, we can just restart it immediately go on over buddy there you go now we gotta do the Strauss counter, which should be very easy. We gotta set this one to low, opposite of what it says on the counter. This one also needs to be on low. There we go. And last one is through this door, right down here. And this one needs to be at medium. So that one can stay how it is. And now we should be able to use the canister. Let's go back and grab our device from the graveyard. Gimme. Now we can pick that up, set it down right here, and defend this little portal while we wait for our other HVT. Come on out, Mangler. What's up, pal? Let's make this quick. Activate the trap, and you're done. Give me that. And now we're basically done. Just gotta throw this in here, and we can start up the final fight. All we gotta do is survive in here, which should not be too difficult considering we are very built up. I could actually just sit here and swing, and I think I'd be able to make it through just fine. Yeah, we're so chilling. What's up, Abomination? You want some too? Right in the mouth. Bye bye. Same goes for the rest of you. Oh, we got our purple tiger camo. We've been very efficient today. And we did it. Even our dying wish saved us from going down at the final cutscene. It's just too easy, Panos. You can go ahead and leave me in the dark aether.
because I got my camos now. And unlike when you complete the actual Easter egg or the Easter egg on the normal map, this one does not give you the option to continue playing, but you can see our insane stat line here, 4,000 kills, 200 and, or 2,294 crits, and that was about two hours of playing. And here is our after action report, just in case you don't believe me, at 45 special kills. Five elites. We could have had more if we farm those. Only 14 rounds. 3,000 kills with just our Krieg. And if we scroll through our rewards here, we got seven battle pass tokens. Every single camo for our Krieg on top of how many levels is this? We made it all the way up to level 38. And look at this stat line. 32 special kills just with this. Crazy. Now, just imagine if I wasn't already max level prestige. We could have went up so many levels. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Hopefully this can help you guys out on your camo grind or whatever you're trying to grind out in zombies, but I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.